All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Narada, African Hair Guide. So on this quick little tutorial that I'm doing today, I am going to, we have, we've already learned how to skate forwards. We've learned how to skate backwards. And assuming that you're comfortable with both skating forwards and backwards, I'm now going to teach you how to transition or teach you a transitional move going from forwards to backwards. Now this move is a bit more on the intermediate side and not so much the beginner side. Um, but I see a lot of people attempting to do this move at the rink and they tend to do it really wrong. And the move I'm referring to is called a three turn. A three turn is a one foot turn that starts off going forwards, pivots and transitions into skating backwards all on one foot. Let me demonstrate for that for y'all real quick what that looks like. One more time. Okay. Um, so the reason it's called a three turn is because it comes from ice skating where figures were a big part of ice skating where it was all about all the tracings that you made with your ice skate onto the ice. The tracing of a three turn creates a three shape and hence the three turn. Now the biggest mistake that people make with this move is that they try to go into a three turn completely straight and not that it's impossible for you to do it, it just, it's more force and you have to do more of a hop just to transition from forward to backwards. The key is to go into the three turn at a slight curve. So let's cover the basics of edges because edges is really important when it comes to three turns. You have your inside edges and you have your outside edges. On your on my right foot, oh, this looks like y'all left. But on my right foot, the inside edge is always, your inside edges are always towards your body. Your outside edges are away from your body. So on my right foot, this side, if I put my weight and lean towards my body, that's the inside edge. If I lean outside or away from my body, that's the outside edge. Inversely, your left foot, Leaning inside, inside edge, outside away from your body, outside edge. So when you're going into a three turn, it always goes in from a either a right inside edge or a left inside edge. So I'm gonna teach you on my right foot. It probably looks like your left, but here we go. Going in, and it's very subtle. It's very subtle, but the reason I'm curving in this direction is because I'm leaning slightly towards the inside of my body. So I'm gonna show y'all again. Okay. Now, if I was to go on an outside edge, I would curve and turn the opposite way. It's hard to see in this little small space, but trust me. Um, once you get comfortable with holding an inside edge, now you need to learn how to transition. The important thing when doing a three turn is to have a slight bend at the knee and to be able to maintain a strong, shallow inside edge. When you get to the cusp of the three in the center, that's where you're going to slightly bend down and lift up. And that's going to help transition your wheel. You're going to push forward slightly on your skate on the inside edge. You're going to dig in and push up and out. And that's going to pivot you onto your back wheel. So let me, that's a lot. Let me see if I can show y'all really quick. So It's hard to do it in this little space and this again this is the reason why it's hard to record tutorials like this because i got to be the cameraman and i got to be the skater and it's just not a good situation but here we go inside bend the knee dig rise outside going backwards inside pivot outside notice the 
Notice the rising motion as I go into the cusp of the three. It's that rising motion at the cusp that transitions you from forwards to backwards. Okay, so I'm going to try again. The key is to go into it from an edge. There's other videos and tutorials that do a much better job of explaining the three turn, but hopefully I've explained the basics. You want to make sure that you're not hopping. It's not a hop. Your, your back wheels kind of lift off the ground a little bit as you turn and pivot. It's very, very subtle. And I don't want you to think of rising up off of your back wheels, but you're literally pushing and turning into your outside edge. So one more time, I keep saying this, but it's, it, should be, it should feel fluid. And also after you complete your three turn at the cusp, you should feel a, a push going backwards. And that's how you know you've been doing it right. Now, one thing that always confused me about three turns I didn't know what to do with my, my free leg, the hanging leg that was just out there. So I tried to, I don't know if this is technically correct, but I tried to um, kind of leave my leg stationary behind me. And so when I'm going into the three turn, my free leg is back behind me. But as I exit the three turn, like so, my free leg leads as I go backwards. So it's really just about holding that position and letting your skating leg do all the work. And it's, it's all in the hips and in your shoulders. So you gotta dig in and shift, okay? All right. So I did want to just demonstrate really quickly um, that th these moves do apply pretty much the same on quads as it does on inlines. Um, this was another reason why I didn't do a lot of skate tutorials for people because I know that most people don't skate on snow white skates. They skate on skates like this. Um, and there are a, little, a few differences between skating on quads and skating on inlines. I've been skating on quads for over a year and I think I'm fairly proficient in them. So I'm just gonna demonstrate for you a three turn on quads, the same thing, the same rules apply. So here we go. Try to have, when you're doing three turns, try to have your arm out in front and your arm out in back. It'll help you maintain your balance as you trans transition from forwards to backwards on your inside edge to your outside edge. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later in the next video. Until then, be blessed.